Number 45, an elevator cab that weights 27.8 kN moves upward. What is the tension in the cable if the cab's speed is letter A increasing at a rate of 1.22 meters per square second and letter B decreasing at a rate of 1.22 meters per square second? So this is the cab over here and this is the cable. So we have to draw the free body diagram for the elevator cab and we only have two different forces. We have the forces from gravity and we have the tension from the cable. So we have to choose if upwards is positive or negative. In this case, I'm going to choose that upwards is positive, but you could choose that positive is, uh, that upwards is negative. It won't change the answer. So for letter A, the thing that we have to do is to remember Newton's second law, that the sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration. We only have two different forces the tension minus the force of gravity which is equal to mass times acceleration so we want to find the tension so the tension is equal to mass times acceleration plus the force of gravity in order to calculate the force of gravity now we already have the force of gravity which is this value over here which is the weight of the elevator cab but we don't have its mass so remember that the weight is equal to mass times gravity so the mass of the elevator cab is the weight over g which is equal to 27.8 times 10 to the third over 9.8 and this gives us let's see this gives us 2837 kilograms so that's the mass of the elevator cab so now we can just solve this equation over here. So T is equal to 2,837 kilograms times the acceleration of, not the acceleration of gravity in this case, this is the acceleration of the cab. So the cab is going up, it's moving upward, and the speed is increasing. So the acceleration points to the positive direction. So A is plus 1.22. 22 plus 27.8 times 10 to the third and this gives us roughly let's see this gives us roughly 3.13 times 10 to the fourth newtons so that's the answer of letter a for letter b the only thing that changes is the acceleration so the speed is decreasing so the acceleration points downwards and downwards is negative so the only thing that we will change is a sign over here so this would be minus in for other a it was plus so t is equal to 2837 times minus 1.22 plus 27.8 times 10 to the third and this gives us roughly Let's see, this gives us roughly 2.43 times 10 to the 4 newtons. So that's the answer of letter B and this is the answer of letter A.